with all the numbers that we're given, let's make a list of what we know. We know the gain of the tower antenna, so I'll say tower here, is 10 dBi, which is equal to 10. R from the tower to the building is 1,200 meters. That's a radial distance from the tower to the building. And then we also know R, the stub to the phone down here in the dining room, is 10 meters. L, the length of the coax going down from the top of the building down to the bottom, to the room is 160 meters. And the coax loss is 2 dB per 100 meters. F is 1 E9, our frequency of operation. The directivity of the dipole is 1.64 and the directivity of the stub is 1.5 and the efficiency of the dipole and the efficiency of the stub are both equal to 1 since they're both lossless. Let's first consider the cell phone tower link to the top of the building. And for this, we can use the freeze transmission formula. So we can calculate B, P, the power, P dipole received over P T, supplied to the antenna, is lambda squared over 4 pi r squared. And that times the gain of the dipole and the gain of the tower. So I'm going to write the gain, since the gain is equal to the efficiency times the directivity, and we're given efficiency and directivity values, I'm going to write d dipole efficiency dipole, and also then, in this case for the tower, we already know the gain, so we can, we can actually combine that one. And so this is equal to 6.5 times 10 to the minus 9, which is also equal to minus 82 dB. Then for the coax cable loss, so now we got to the top of the building and we want to go down to the rim. So we have 160 meters of coaxial cable, so we need to multiply that 2 dB per 100 meters, that's going to give us a total of 3.2 dB. So I guess I could put a minus sign here because we're losing 2 dB for every 100 meters. And then lastly, for the inside link, we can again use the freeze transmission formula. So P received over PT is equal to lambda squared over 4 pi r squared and the efficiency of the stub times the directivity of the stub, since for this link we're using the same kind of efficiency and directivity for both of the antennas, and all of this is equal to 1.28 times 10 to the minus 5, which is equivalent to minus 49 decibels. Now we can sum up the total loss for this complete link is minus 82, minus 3.2, and then minus 49 gives us a total of 134 decibels.